Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If somebody comes and tells you, hey, we're not having enough sex, you best get your pants down and get to sexing. Okay. It, Novell said it. Fellas, you listen. Yeah. Listen here. Yeah. Give it up. As far as it being cheating, right? Um, I, I don't think it's cheating, but I do think that it's a it's the beginning of desensitization. It's the beginning of the end of I think your relationship. So what about if the person is like, hey, hey, let's watch this video because I want you to learn this technique. Hey, do this technique for me. Oh, yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I don't know. if I, I don't know. Why? Because before we even start to have sex, I'm supposed to already know. No. What you what you know that you like. No, of course, during the relationship, I we both will learn that you like. Oh, I oh wait a minute. We're not together. We're just two, two ships passing in the night. So what I'm saying is when you start your relationship, right? Exclusive. Yes. Okay. And you're learning each other. Because there's different types of relationships. And you're learning each other. Yeah. And of course, you have conversations talking about either past relationships or current feelings and toward yeah. attitudes toward different acts of sex, of course. You sure, know? Do sure. Do you like kissing a lot? Do you like wet kissing? And do you like this? Or you like that? Just conversations. Right, right. right. Of course, once you engage with that person... Your sexual relationship is specific to you and that individual. There's some things that you like with this person that you might not like with a previous yes. past sex partner, right? Yes, because so, there have been some people that the energy that they bring really amps up my energy. And I've been into things that I wasn't necessarily into, mm -hmm. but she was so fired up about it mm -hmm. that I was fired up too. So that's the thing is that you learn this person as mm -hmm. you're becoming more intimate. And I, sure. I really stress this whole idea of intimacy and mm -hmm. learning that person and romanticism and all that good stuff. Because, sure. I mean, there's times when people are just doing F U C K ing. you know, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Go on. She's so Judgment. tender. She's so tender. Judgment. Oh yeah. I'm judging you. <laughs> I'm judging you. Absolutely. I'm not. So, make no bones but about that. In, but in the totality of a sexual relationship and a sexual experience, even yeah. the people that do do that, I think that there is some level of connection regardless. Sure. And so that you should learn that person, whether you're like, hey, I've never journeyed into this area before, but we're tiptoeing. We're sticking our toe into the pool of this new thing, Right. Right, but so, there's certain but things that you don't, that you just wouldn't know. Like, let's say he saw something on a video and was like, wow, that looks like it feels really good. There's no way that you would know that unless he communicated it. would you just it. jump into the pool or would you edge your way over there? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know how you would edge your way over. Hey, look at that. You see what she's doing? <laughs> Do I like that. that. Yeah, let's try that. Oh. And, if, and she has the, definitely has the, now, of course, I don't want her coming every every day oh let's try this oh you see this swing the sex swing oh you know i want to slather food on us and, and you know but if they come with something that's like yeah a little adventurous a little bit whatever yeah i'm i'm all for that so because would it ever be a case where you be like who taught you this where did you get this idea from I, I don't i don't care the the source because mm -hmm. at the end of the day i trust her mm -hmm. and i trust that you know, she got it from wherever she got it from. It might have come from her imagination. It might come from a movie. It might have come from mm -hmm. somebody, uh, one of her girlfriends telling her. Mm -hmm. I don't so care. with that being said, I, I don't, I want to stress that I don't think that watching porn is cheating at okay. all. I don't think it's cheating, but I do think there's a lack of communication in our relationship. If there's something that he's missing and he's not telling me and that he's getting it from the porn. Mm. That's to me is a bigger issue. I and think, that's what I would want to know about so that I can make yeah. sure that there is no gaps because now it's leading, you know, it's, it's a little crack. Yeah. It's a little crack that's potentially saying, you know what? There is something that he's not getting from you and, and he's getting it from the porn because he's preferring the porn. Well, it might not be something that he's not getting from you. It might just be quantity. That's, that's not, he's not getting that from, hey, look, I'm all about quantity. Sometimes, all, I mean, sometimes people are tired. No. Or they're not available. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. If I'm at work, if I'm busy, We'll figure it out. No, no. Think about it this way. You, you, you with somebody, they got kids. You know, you guys have kids together. Kids are a lot of effort. 
responsibility. Yeah, I have kids. Yeah. So when you come home, there's a certain level of manipulation and requirement that's involved with kids. And you take care of them, you get them down. And sometimes if you got an early day the next morning, it's kind of like, uh, you know, so just you're not feeling it. So you're a person with champagne problems. You have the luxury of being able to say, you know what, maybe next time type thing. So you mean, well, I I've think that a, when I've you're with constant, somebody. That's what I'm saying. I've been with people and I've had kids for over 24 years now. Yeah. So I've never had that long enough, like maybe five years is probably my longest relationship. So within that five years, it's still kind of fairly new. Would you consider that still a fresh, new kind of honeymoon living together? No, I think the honeymoon that? ends probably about the second year. Second, second year. Second year, you're out of the honeymoon phase. You're 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 into the, the nitty gritty. Because you, you know that person now. So- it, there is not a time when I'm like, oh, I'm too tired. That's not that's that's never happened historically. It's never happened. By all means, it's just you know. Yeah. If anything, I I am the problem in the relationship when it comes to because of your time, my need. Oh, you just want it. Yeah. Yeah. So you I, are, that, you, that is a little. That, that you emphasis, are definitely not the, the, the not, emphasis that you just put look, on. Let me tell you something. <laughs> women so women have a tendency to dry up, and I think that it, I, and. It's happened to me. There have been times when it's happened. There have been times when it hasn't. But the times that it's that it's happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see that? Mm-hmm. So one of our cameras just went down. It's too hot. It's hard to get good help out here. It really is. It really is. I'm not talking about this guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm great help. As I've mentioned. I'm great help. But Mm -hmm. I think that when you start getting into, um, when you start getting into the the daily work of relationships, that sometimes you're tired. Sometimes you're busy. Sometimes you're just not available. I just never been that. I've never had. Yeah. I've never been too busy. Yeah, well, too tired. This as a guy, we me. we are definitely campaigning for that. Because well, I, I can I can win this election. Then <laughs> I can win this elect. This is one election I might be able to win. Look, look, <laughs> Betsy, I'm telling you, all you have to do is put in an application, and we'll <laughs> we work this out. All the details. We'll figure it out. We'll, work out all the details. we'll figure it out. We don't have to sit <laughs> here and <laughs> dance around it. You know, just put in an application. Put in an application. Yes. Be under consideration. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. That's all I'm You're saying. Right. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, have we? Have we? Have we kind of exhausted that? Or I you? think we did it. I think yeah? we did good. Okay. I think we did, did good. It's not cheating. You said it's not cheating, but it is a potentially fireable offense if it's just too excessive. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that if it's yeah, if it's something that is more than in moderation if it's something that's just like you're doing it every day uh-huh. and stuff like that then we're gonna have to have a talk a conversation mm-hmm. and if you come at me with well, i'm not giving up. it up i'm a, mm-hmm. or yeah something like that well no you have to keep up means i need to get in the gym or something get my testosterone up because you you got needs and i need to be there to to help please you oh and you're okay with that yeah oh yeah if somebody comes and tells you hey we're not having enough sex you best get your pants down and get to sexing. Okay. Novell said it. Fellas, you listen. Yeah. Listen here. Yeah. Give it up. Because sometimes, by all means. Give it up. Give it up. But, it, it, you know, sometimes, like, sometimes you're tired. But if your woman is sexy and amorous and she's keeping herself together and she wants more. Give it up. Give it to her. Got to give it up. Trust me. Give it to her. You'll be... Just give it to her. <laughs> yeah, just don't don't play around with it. Give it to her. 